Hey, George from Zenhub here. Uh, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of how Zenhub uses Zenhub. Um, most of the time when you see these kind of videos, um, you see fake data uh, and, you know, kind of mock stuff. Um, I'm going to just show you our real stuff because this is all stuff the teams are working on right now. So it'll be out the door in a week or so. So why not show the real deal? Um, I am going to use a mock for our roadmap because I there are some things in there that um, I don't want uh, out quite yet. So um, when we get to the roadmap, that'll be a mock. But otherwise, everything is real uh, and uh, take you through how the team uses it. Now, when I say team, what does that mean? Um, uh, we have a number of small teams, um, engineering teams. Uh, we've got some engineers, uh, front end, back end. Uh, we have a uh, product owner, we have a uh, designer, uh, we've got engineering managers that support team members across multiple teams. Uh, so we've got a bunch of small teams. Uh, and we also have uh, marketing, sales, uh, CS, support, uh, the leadership team, um, uh, all working together. Uh, and, uh, and everybody's got a team workspace. So I'm in the team Watney workspace here, uh, obviously fans of The Martian. Uh, and um, so let's uh, kind of start driving through and show you how we do things. So no matter uh, how you work, uh, most of the time, most teams get together on a regular basis. Uh, some might call that a daily scrum or a daily standup, a sync, a daily plan, uh, or just a team meeting. Um, but the purpose is uh, mostly the same. You want to understand what everybody's working on, make sure uh, people are working on the right things in the right order. Uh, and if somebody's blocked or needs help, uh, you call that out and get them, um, you know, get them the help they need. So let's actually run a stand up here. So uh, Watney here uh, uh, has some team members. So under the saved views, uh, I've just got some quick uh, saved views here. Uh, you can see uh, stand up, Aaron, Erica, Jason, Nick, Sean and Will. So we'll just kind of go through the list here and, uh, and say, Aaron, uh, what's going on? And Aaron might say, well, yesterday I worked on 34169. Uh, today I'm working on 34498. Uh, I am not blocked. Okay, great. Uh, Sean, how about you? Uh, yesterday I wrapped up 33429. Ah, um, and today I'm working on, uh, I'll pull the next one out of the backlog and start working on that today. But um, I, I am blocked. I do need help. I need help getting this code review done. Um, so, um, you know, but one of the best pieces of advice when I was coming up was kind of an order of operations in how you work as an engineer. Um, uh, if, uh, if somebody needs a code review, you do that code review first. Um, if you've gotten feedback on a code review, you then uh, work on that feedback, right? And uh, make those updates. Uh, and then you work on your plan stuff. So uh, the standup supports all this. So using the save views, super fast and easy, cuts down a bunch of clicks uh, as well. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it's always a good idea to uh, kind of go through and look at a burn down as well. I know not everybody does this, uh, that's okay. But um, now I'm recording this on the first day of the sprint. So I've got, um, I'm gonna, we'll look at the, like the burn down from the last sprint. Uh, so uh, here we are, this is from another team, Team Loophole. Uh, interesting uh, story behind the name, which I won't go into here, but uh, you can see here uh, that they uh, they crushed it. Look at this, uh, delivering all this stuff really close to the pace line, a um, little bit over at the end, uh, and they didn't quite get everything done. Now, kind of knew that was going to happen, uh, given that the uh, number of points in their plan was slightly over velocity. Um, we're human too, so sometimes uh, we don't even get it right, uh, even though we know what's going on. Okay, so now uh, the team is off and working for the day. Uh, so um, people go through those code reviews, uh, they'll start working on planned work, grab something off the sprint backlog and start working on it. Um, now, uh, you know, as you're opening issues uh, throughout the day, um, let's say uh, update the uh, GraphQL API documentation on our developer site. Uh, you'll see that over on the right, um, our AI has uh, automatically suggested uh, some labels. So documentation, backend, perfect. I'm gonna click accept. So we just added those labels, one click. Didn't have to go into the list of labels and like try and find them. Uh, the other thing that this does is uh, if you've got some label sprawl, which I think everybody does, um, this starts to collapse it, right? Because you don't have to worry about uh, do we need needs design, design needed, uh, design wanted, design help needed, or whatever. Like just AI will pick uh, the right label and then your labels will start to uh, uh, be unified. Uh, it's really cool. So I'll just put in some dummy text here. 
Uh, save this. Okay, so um, you know we've opened an issue, and uh, at some point we're going to get back together uh, as a team and uh, determine whether or not we understand um, exactly what's involved in doing this work, uh, whether or not we have uh, an understanding of what the effort involved is, uh, and then um, we need to make a prioritization call. Uh, we're going to do, do we need to do it next? Are we going to do it soon? We're going to do it someday, uh, and then get in the backlog. Our team created um, asynchronous planning poker, so uh, we can get together as a team, and some of our teams do uh, get together uh, and read through it and then um, uh, use the estimate here. Uh, but I can just come in here, click add members to vote, uh, and uh, add uh, Aaron and Gil. Uh, so from here, uh, they will get a notification. You see down here, please add your planning poker estimates. Uh, and um, they'll add their estimates as they come in. Uh, and uh, then we can go on to the next. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Um, if you have uh, content in uh, Miro, Figma, or Loom uh, that would help the team understand uh, what they need to do in order to do this stuff, um, we've got integrations there. So I'm gonna just pop over to another board uh, where I've got some embeds already done. All you need to do uh, is actually uh, copy and paste uh, a link to uh, Figma, uh, Miro, or uh, Loom and uh, Zenhub will embed a live preview uh, that you can actually move around. So you can embed your whiteboards, you can embed your mocks, uh, everything right into a Zenhub issue uh, and, uh, and uh, videos. So uh, hey, there you go. So super easy uh, to do, uh, just copy and paste those links. Um, when you have your estimates ready uh, and you uh, are aligned as a team that you know what's involved, you know how much effort it is, uh, now you need to make a call on when you're gonna do it. Uh, it's super easy. Uh, we're gonna put it in the, um, in the backlog. Uh, we are going to, uh, if we need to do it next, we're gonna pin it as a high priority issue. Um, if we don't need to do it next, uh, we're gonna send it to the top, uh, which will get done soon, uh, or if we need to do it someday, we're gonna send it to the bottom. That's it, prioritization at work so fast and easy. Uh, if you need to fine tune it, uh, right, you can go in and you can drag cards up and down. Uh, we've got a great uh, grid view so that you can see a whole bunch of cards on the screen at a time um, and it reads like a book. Uh, this is the most important. This is two, three, four, five, six, etc. So if you need to reprioritize your backlog, uh, you just drag and drop things around so easy and fast. Okay, um, what's next? Uh, we did stand up, we looked at a burn down, we did refinement, uh, sprint planning. So, uh, so how do our teams do sprint planning? Uh, varies a little bit. Uh, you can see right here, uh, this team has automated sprints turned on. Uh, so if stuff doesn't get done, uh, it automatically uh, moves to the next sprint. Uh, and, then, uh, and then we build a sprint candidate from uh, the top issues in uh, the backlog. Um, so it tells you what the velocity is. Uh, and then, uh, so most of the time, uh, for this team anyway, most of their sprint planning uh, is just kind of done for them and then they get back together uh, and review things. Now, um, those are candidates, so the uh, sprints get added, uh, the uh, product owner uh, working with the team can come through, uh, read everything, make sure that, yeah, this is exactly what we need to do, uh, and then um, uh, and go from there. Uh, if you don't do, um, automated sprint planning. Uh, I am gonna go over to a, uh, uh, a dem demo board just so I could show you how you could do this. So manual sprint planning is also super easy. Uh, if uh, we're going to move these uh, issues that are in progress to the next sprint, we could just come in here, set a sprint, uh, and uh, click apply. Uh, and then if I wanna add uh, let's see, I got 13 points selected, so let's say I want to add another 15 points. Uh, I could just come into the product backlog and select, you can see a counter up here, 5, 7, 12, 15, there we go. Uh, and then I'll set that uh, to the next sprint, uh, and, uh, and I'm done. So even if you're doing manual sprint planning with Zenhub, super easy. Uh, again, you don't have to call them sprints. You can call this a weekly plan. Uh, you can set up the sprint, the automated sprint schedule to be whatever you want. Um, uh, but uh, Zenhub's flexible. You don't need to uh, tightly align with Scrum. You can be pretty loose. Uh, so uh, we've got lots of other uh, metrics and ways to uh, track progress. 
Um, one of my favorite uh, additions is the uh, GitHub Insights uh, page. Uh, this gives us uh, like lead time uh, and code review uh, time and PR throughput. Uh, allows you to uh, kind of keep track of how your team is doing. Uh, there's some recommendations on the right for how to improve. Uh, we're gonna add uh, soon the ability to compare one period of time to another period of time so you can see how you're changing over time. That's gonna be great. Uh, that'll be out in a little while. Okay, so uh, let's see, we've covered uh, stand up, burn down, refinement, uh, sprint planning, both automated and manual. Um, oh, and the GitHub Insights here, which is super cool. Um, at the end of the sprint, uh, a lot of teams will do a uh, retrospective. So what does that look like in Zen Hub? Uh, well, it looks like this. Uh, you can see here, um, this is uh, a retro board for uh, one of our team's ghost peppers. Uh, and uh, you can see uh, they've got a column for went well to improve action items, uh, running experiments, and then a done column. So super easy. Uh, you can set up uh, multiple workspaces in Zen Hub. And uh, so Ghost Peppers has a, a, t a workspace that they're working out of uh, throughout the sprint uh, and uh, another one they use for retros. And then finally, you know, uh, how does the, the leadership team and everybody kind of keep up to date with how things are going? Uh, the roadmap is a key way uh, that we do that. I'm not going to show our actual one just because there's some stuff on there I don't want to disclose yet. But, uh, you know, it looks like this, right, where you can see at a glance which projects are on track, which ones are at risk, those are the yellow ones, and then which ones are just behind. Uh, and from here, you can um, uh, fire up conversations so, uh, to help those teams out. So, you know, when we were looking at the board and doing sprint planning and looking at refinement and stuff, you know, that was kind of a day-to-day -day view. Uh, the roadmap is more of a longer-term view, but it still is uh, using the same information, right? The uh, issues that team members are closing each and every day, um, those are powering these progress bars here. So when a developer closes an issue, um, which they're going to do anyway, it updates these progress bars automatically. So we always have the latest uh, information about what's going on. These are live. It's real-time road mapping. Um, issues are uh, bodies of work that you're going to get done uh, throughout a day uh, or a couple of days. Uh, you're going to do a bunch of issues within a sprint. That's us. Doesn't have to be you, but a sprint, a group of work over a week or two. Um, we group longer term work together, groups uh, of work that are going to take uh, a few sprints. Uh, those are grouped together into epics. You'll see some of those on the roadmap here. And then we group epics together uh, into projects. Uh, and our projects are tied to kind of our objectives and key results. So the roadmap helps us keep track of all of that. I hope the thing that comes across um, throughout this video is that um, our teams work uh, slightly different ways, which is totally fine. Um, we get that not everybody uh, does Agile by the book, you know? Um, nobody does, uh, and uh, nobody ever has. Um, everybody does it kind of cafeteria style, right? You take the best things that work for your team. Uh, so, um, you know, that's how our teams work, and that's how our tool works, right? We try and empower people to be able to uh, work the way that they want to work. Um, we will nudge you. We will try and get you to do the things that we have found work the best. Um, but, uh, you know, we're flexible enough to know that um, not everything is the right fit for everybody. So uh, hopefully this helps uh, kind of give you a glimpse into how ZenHub uses ZenHub. Again, all of our teams, slightly different. Uh, if you're on one of our teams and I haven't uh, called out something that you do, uh, let me know. We'll put it in the next video. Um, hopefully this helps and um, I'll see you next time.